Saturday, December 12, 2020. Now the title for this message this morning is The Purpose and the Benefits of the Proverbs. We can find the answer to these questions in the very beginning of the book of Proverbs. If you have your Bibles handy, turn with me to Proverbs chapter 1, starting in verse 1. But before we do that, let's pray. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you again for the opportunity to open up your word this morning. Lord, to gain wisdom and knowledge. Lord, thank you for your words. Thank you for the understanding that you give us through the reading of your scriptures. Lord, we love you and we thank you for this time. It's in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Now, pick it up in verse 1. It says, These are the Proverbs of Solomon, David's son, king of Israel. Their purpose is to teach people wisdom and discipline, to help them understand the insights of the wise. Their purpose is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives, to help them to do what is right, just, and fair. These Proverbs will give insight to the simple, knowledge and discernment to the young. Let the wise listen to the Proverbs and become even wiser. Let those with understanding receive guidance by exploring the meaning in these Proverbs and parables, the words of the wise and their riddles. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. Now let's unpack these verses and discover the purposes of the Proverbs. Let's look at verse 2. To teach us wisdom and discipline and to give us insight of the wise. In verse 3, he says to help us live a successful lives by doing what is right, just, and fair. In verse 4, he says to give us insight to the simple, and knowledge and discernment to the young. Now, as we look at verse 4, it beckons for a little deeper knowledge. As we look at this verse, we ask ourselves, what does, the, what does he mean by the simple? Literally, those who are open to good impressions and influences, but also those who are easily led astray. One commentary by Matthew Henry explains it this way. The lessons here are given are plain and likely to benefit those who feel their own ignorance and their need to be taught. If young people take heed to their ways, according to Solomon's Proverbs, they will gain knowledge and discretion. Solomon speaks of those most important points of truth, and the greater than Solomon is here. Christ speaks by his word and by his spirit. Christ is the word and the wisdom of God, and he is made to us wisdom. Now look at verse 5 and 6. It says, The purpose is to make the wise even wiser and provide guidance to those who read and understand and explore the meaning in the Proverbs and the parables, the words of the wise and their riddles. And then in verse 7 he says, The foundation of true knowledge is fear of the Lord. Now the purpose for writing these Proverbs was to teach people foundational principles about how to live a good life and how to deal with various problems they would encounter in life. The first step to attaining this kind of wisdom is the hardest. Trusting and showing reverence for God. What does this mean, you may ask? It means admitting that we need help and then allowing God to guide us. Now let's look at some of the benefits. Let's go back to Proverbs chapter, or go forward, go to chapter 2, verses 6 to 11. And let's pick it up in verse 6. It says, For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He grants us a treasure of common sense to the honest. He is a shield to those who walk with integrity. He guards the path of, of the just and protects those who are faithful to him. Then you will understand what is right just and fair, and you will find the right way to go. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. God grants us with a treasure of common sense. Verse 8, he says, he guards our path and protects those who are faithful to him. He will give us understanding of what is right, just and fair which will keep us on the right path. In verse 10, he says, Wisdom will enter your heart. Who and what is wisdom? The Holy Spirit. 
the knowledge who will fill you with joy. In verse 11, wise choices will watch over us and understanding who is guiding us will keep us safe. This is just some of the purposes and the benefits of the Proverbs and their teachings. Now I want to encourage you today to read and explore the scriptures and to help gain all the wisdom and insight into the teachings of Christ. And that will allow you to grow even wise and wiser in the Lord and his ways. Amen. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, let us first start off by saying thank you for granting us wisdom and the knowledge of you. Lord, thank you for the Proverbs that you have given us to help us do what is right, just and fair. Lord, thank you that you provide shelter. You keep us safe in the wisdom of our choices. Lord, thank you. Thank you for revealing your words to us this morning. Lord, continue to allow your word to guide us, to help us. Lord, may your Holy Spirit be upon us all times, helping us to understand your scriptures. Lord, we love you and we thank you. It's in your name, Jesus, I pray. Amen.